Harry and Meghan Markle have been told to move on with their lives after stepping down from the royal family. Now, royal biographer Angela Levin has said it is tragically sad. She claimed the royal couple are going downhill. Speaking to Kay Burley on Sky News Breakfast, Ms. Levin said, their behavior keeps going downhill. The fact that it was suspected yesterday that Prince Harry was really going to go for Charles and Camilla. We're all bored of that, we just want to say move on and try and enjoy your life not on and on endlessly about how badly you were treated. It's just tragically sad and nothing like the Harry I knew. It's quite painful to watch actually, you want to shake him and say, don't you see what you're doing? We've all had enough of it. Be positive and show us a very happy man because you got exactly what you wanted and loads of money. It comes after Harry is set to travel to The Hague to film for a Netflix project this week. After a documentary on the platform claimed that Prince Charles once wrote to pedophile Jimmy Savile for advice. However, Prince William has been left baffled by Prince Harry's continued association with Netflix after a new documentary alleged that Prince Charles sought PR advice from Jimmy Savile. Royal family concerns have been raised by a new documentary, which revealed that the Prince of Wales once wrote letters to paedophile Jimmy Savile asking for his common-sense advice. Reacting to the news, royal commentator Neil Sean claimed that this new release would likely leave William confused by his brother's continued relationship with the platform. Prince William is rather upset as it is again another attack on his loving father, Neil told. What baffles Prince William? and this has been told to me by a very good source close to the prince, is that. How could Prince Harry possibly still associate himself with an organization like Netflix that continues to bash his family? And, with no sign of Harry quitting his deal with the platform, Neil suggested that the Jimmy Savile documentary is not the first time that the royals have taken flack from Netflix. Let's not forget we've had The Crown, we've had other documentaries, we've had the musical about Diana, and now of course, we have this documentary which is highly focused on Jimmy Savile but brought in the monarchy once again, he continued. The obvious reason, of course, is that he wants the money, he needs the deal. Harry is embarking on a trip to The Hague for the Invictus Games this week. He is expected to be joined by Meghan Markle, and the pair will reportedly be followed by a documentary crew during the trip. Daniel O'Connor, 31, from Hereford, is competing in archery and indoor rowing, and said Harry is someone who cares a lot. Asked if he would like to see Meghan at the event, Mr. O'Connor said, I think everyone in the games, all the competitors, are bringing friends and family, and I think if we have the right to bring friends and family then surely Prince Harry does.